Hiya guys and welcome back to Aid's Workshop. So I think we've reached that moment with the Webster engine. Um, I always call it a Webster engine. I think it's quite a long way removed from a Webster engine now, but the basic principles are the same, I suppose. Um, so it's time to put some petrol in it and give it a whirl. So I'm not going to mess you about, guys. I'll put the clip in. So I suppose you guys have been waiting to see this for such a long time. Turn the spark on, up with the drill, let's go. So it runs guys, um, yeah I'm, I'm absolutely over the moon with that, I'm totally blown away, it runs. So it didn't run straight out of the box, I had to play with the timing a little bit, and I found it was flooding a lot, um, I had to screw my meter in screw on the carb right in, so I've actually um, replaced, uh, I don't even know if you can see it, but the, the main jack with one with a much smaller hole in, um, I think that was a number 65 drill and I've gone for one with a 75 drill which allows me to open up the meter and screw a little bit um, I think it's still running a little rich um, so I may have to make uh, a main jack with a smaller hole again um, I suppose in the grand scale of things although the holes very small it's you know the first one I had wasn't far off what you'd expect on a sort of 50 or 60 cc engine something like that so uh, as a main jet so I've gone much smaller now and it seems to run a bit better um, it's still got a bit of a misfire I've played with the spark timing it seems quite advanced the spark timing before top dead center I don't know if that's something with the electronic unit where it there's a delay between it seeing the signal and it sparking I don't know um, but I do find that it's probably 10 degrees before top dead center with a spark if I go more than that it doesn't run consistently if I go less it doesn't so that seems to have found the sweet spot uh, I think I got the exhaust cam timing right because yeah I mean it does all the cycles as it should um, and the the exhaust uh, you can see the rocker you know I can time that fairly easy based on uh, where the where the piston is in the bore so uh, yeah happy days guys really really happy days So there we are, um, it runs, It's it still needs a smaller jet as I was mentioning, um, you know, literally it's it's uh, running too rich and it's getting popping and on occasion I do have to clean the plug, I can see it's running too rich from the plug. So uh, smaller jet again, uh, might be a bit of fun uh, trying to drill a hole with a drill smaller than a number 65, I, the smallest drill I've got is a number 80. I'm going to do it with a number 80, see how I get on, play with all the timings again, just, just see how I get on. But it's running, um, great success, so I, I'm, I'm really pleased about that. So this is going to be one of the shortest videos I've ever put up, but I thought I want to share that with you. Um, I will make the smaller jet and what have you, and that will be in another video moving forward. Uh, not the making of the jet, but when the engine's running a bit sweeter. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you so much for following me along with this journey of making this engine. And I hope to see you all very soon. Cheers now.